With the Tartars update just around the corner, Pyre 101 is about to drop some insane gear you guys have to see. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome into the video today and just wanted to give you guys a little announcement that whenever we hit a thousand subs on the YouTube channel, we're going to be doing a massive crowns giveaway. It's going to be insane and it should be pretty easy to hit because literally 83% of you guys who watch the videos aren't even subscribed yet. So just do a little favor, get us closer to that 1000 sub goal. Click that subscribe button, you know, it's free to do so, so why not? And anyways, enjoy the video. I know at the moment we're still currently in the test realm, which means that there are the potential for changes to happen, but the current gear sets that are set to come out when the update drops right now could be just completely game changing. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys and tell you all about the new gear, show you where it's going to be dropped from, and just everything about it that you guys ought to know. Alright, so the first boss you'll really come to is this guy named Chief Borgos. Um, he's going to be in this cave. It will have a sigil here once it gets fixed. But he drops something called the Gorgon's Petrified Band, which gives you two Gorgon's Cry summons. These summons are actually really good. They give a uh, Repel Borders 3, Hold the Line 3, Bladestorm 2, and Relentless 2. That's what the summons have, and about 1700 health, as well as an Assassin Strike which is really, really good for a summon, and honestly, really, really good for a privateer. They can really do well with this this ring and stuff, you know? So, it's a, it's a really good ring if you like summons. These summons are probably some of the best that we've seen ever. So, this is definitely a worthwhile farm for, uh, you know, if you guys want something like this. And the second boss that you're going to come to is General Argonon. Now, this is also another sigil that's currently bugged at the moment. It will be fixed once Test Realm uh, is over and it comes in the Live Realm. But you go in here, it's one fight. General Argonon also drops the Gorgon's Petrified Band. So he also drops this. But the main thing that he drops that's really, really going to be worth it are his boots. There are two pairs of boots in this update that are absolutely just completely busted and game-changing. Look at these boots right here. The Artemis' Underworld Boots, they give Overwatch spell power, weapon power, accuracy, and agility. This allows for just so many new builds. Now you can get Overwatch 5 and Ready to Spell 5 on Musketeer with these boots because it allows you to have a different weapon other than the one that gives Overwatch. You can now do Hybrid Musk while having Overwatch 5 due to these boots. Secondly, these boots for Swashbuckler right here, the Hermes Underworld Boots, they give Sneaky Sneaky. 15 dodge, a weapon power, 15 accuracy, good agility. The main thing to go, once again, Sneaky Sneaky is absolutely busted. They have the ability to hide at the end of each turn. I think Sneaky Sneaky 1 is like a 25% chance to hide at the end of each turn, which is absolutely crazy. And, I mean, just the, the ability that we're able to get that as a swashbuckler on a piece of gear is, is you know, really, really good for swashbuckler. Because, you know, swashbuckler is kind of toward the bottom of the classes in Pirate, but, dude, I'm telling you, these boots are insane and the next fight that you're going to come to is at the very beginning of tartarus it's going to be shady gillies right down here he is going to be the boss that drops the hats now there's a couple of hats that are also good let me go ahead and show you guys real quick so the hats that you're going to want there is about three of them that are going to be very good the burst fire hat for musketeer you know it's okay santorana's hat's still going to be very good for certain builds this hat is good you know if you want to have it burst fire it allows for some different builds you know other stuff like that it's okay now Another one that's really good is Ares Underworld hat. This one for Buccaneer is actually a really good hat. It gives a lot of strength, a lot of accuracy, good weapon power, and then it gives Vengeance Strike. Now, this actually allows for some really cool builds on Buccaneer, but with this hat, you can get Vengeance Strike on the hat. You train three ranks of Vengeance Strike from um, the trainer, and then you can get it as a totem from the Trogi pack, or you can get it on your pet regardless, and you can have Vengeance Strike 5 and Bladestorm 5, and just, it's a it's a really good hat. This hat can be pretty good, so it's definitely worth the farm. Last but not least, we have the Witch Doctor hat that gives readied spell. This hat is completely insane because it actually allows for Witch Doctors to get Ready to Spell 5 completely free to play. Before, you had to have the Hoodoo Bundle robe that gave Ready to Spell, but now with this hat, you can get Ready to Spell 5 on a Witch Doctor because it is Witch Doctor only, but you can get Ready to Spell 5 on a Witch Doctor for free. I mean, you can just farm the gear. That's all you need to do. And Ready to Spell 5 is now possible. So this hat is really, really good. Shady Gillies, good boss, three hats that are pretty good. All right, now I'm going to talk about probably the most busted and game-changing piece of gear in this entire update. This piece of gear is going to be dropped from a secret boss in uh, Steno's room. The correct answer is going to be one, but if you go through any of these other gates and make an offering, you will actually spawn a 20,000 health boss called the Beast. This guy drops 
just just look at this. It drops this services collar. It gives double tap, mojo rising, and follow through. This literally is going to be used on every single class. Every single class can use this. It's it's absolutely insane. It's a universal piece. This for musketeer specifically, it makes this musketeer build. You can have double tap five, ready spell five, overwatch five, and mojo rising two, and burst fire two, and then. Not to mention on Buccaneer, you can now have follow through too because we have another way to get follow through with follow through on the Axe of the Minotaur Lords. This collar is going to be one of the things people are going to be farming a lot for. This is completely busted. You need to get this item. It is, I, I, can't, I can't tell you anymore how good this, this necklace is going to be. Next, I wanted to talk about the new robes that are going to be coming out. There are, th these are pretty interesting because they are something that we haven't really seen in Pirate 101 before. These robes actually have drawback abilities, but they give pretty good stuff. So starting off with the privateer robe, we have Zeus's underworld garb. Um, if you see Zeus's might down there, so it's gonna do half of your health, and then but you're gonna get plus 25% weapon power, spell power, critical, and dodge for three turns. So while it, there is the drawback of that 1500 damage, you get the benefit of the increase of these other stats that are really, really good, especially for Privateer. So, you know, it's something to, you know, kind of look at. All right, next up, we have the Witch Doctor robe. Now, this one is the drawback ability that gives you plus 75% spell power for five turns. It's actually not that bad. You know, I know it takes away half your health, but the spell power is, is pretty good. That's a pretty significant spell power buff. And for five turns, too, that's, you know, that's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not the greatest thing, but, you know, it is something that, you know, could be could be cool in certain certain builds and stuff like that. Lastly, we have the musketeer robe. Now, this one is actually really really good too. I've tried I've tested it out um, for like a pure musk or for like a, a hybrid musketeer that's you know going for damage and chains and stuff. This aim of Artemis ability does half your health and then you get an increase in 50% range and plus 50% weapon power for three turns. You do so much damage with this. And of course, these robes drop from Electo, the enraged harpy, at the very end of Tartarus. This is like the last fight of Tartarus. All right, lastly, I wanted to talk about some of the more controversial additions to the test realm. Um, and that is the weapons that they recently added, like as of last Friday. Now, there's one for every class. There's one for Privateer. There's one for Musketeer. There's one for Witch Doctor. But the main two that I want to talk about are the ones for Buccaneer and the ones for Swashbuckler. These weapons are absolutely absurd. For Buccaneer starting off, you get 256 weapon power and follow through. And, you know, that's just, I know it's just an increased, you know, version of the Axe and Minotaur Lords. But follow through two is now possible with the addition of Cerberus' Collar, meaning that that's three guaranteed hits during a chain. Because follow through is guaranteed and it can't miss. And you don't have to sacrifice weapon power to use the Axe of the Minotaur Lords now that we have this new axe coming out that gives, you know, 256 weapon power. Next, we have the Swashbuckler weapon. Now, this weapon, a lot of people are upset about. It might be getting changed. I'm not 100% sure. But as of now, it gives, I think, 245 weapon power and a sneaky, sneaky ability. So you can have, with the pair of the Swashbuckler boots, Sneaky Sneaky 2, which gives you a 50% chance to go hidden after every turn. It honestly makes Hybrid Swash not worth it anymore, in my opinion. I think that Pure Swash, with the ability to go hidden, you know, 50% every single turn, dude, like, this, this weapon is just insane. So if it doesn't get changed, you're definitely going to want to get this weapon, and you are definitely going to want to get those boots to run Sneaky Sneaky 2 on a Pure Swash. At first, they had came out with a uh, system where you had to defeat 250 enemies. I'll show you right here. You have to defeat 250 of these like Shade Spartans, and there was one for each. There was one for uh, Shade Vulture, Shade Ophidian. There was like five different ones. And then whenever you defeated 250 of each mob, then you could unlock it in the crown shop for purchase. But... There was a lot of backlash about that because the crowns, it was going to be like almost 5,000 crowns just to purchase a weapon, which makes it insanely pay to win, PvE, PvP, everything like that. But it did get announced that it was going to be changed to where the weapons will be available as drops, as confirmed by the KI dev, as you guys can see right here in this message. So thankfully, that is going to be the case where we can get these as drops as well and not just have to do the 250 and then buy it in the crown shop. Now, it hasn't been confirmed where they're going to drop from, but I would assume if the weapon is called Aegilles Blade of Shade, it's going to be probably dropped from Aegilles. So you can kind of infer where they're going to be dropped from. 
but you know it's not 100% sure on that yet. Alright, well that about does it for the um, Tartarus update, man. These weapons and these gear sets are going to be absolutely insane. I'm so, so excited for this update to drop. I don't know when it's going to drop yet. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out there for you guys so that you guys can see the gear. Um, before you go, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you drop a like on the video. And make sure you put in the comments, what are your thoughts on the new gear? What are your thoughts on the new weapons? Everything like that. Like, tell me. I want to hear it down below. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.